Welcome Echo Dogs. We've got two clips for you this week, both coming from Conover, Wisconsin, a town 50 miles south of Lake Superior and evidently a hotbed of UFO activity. The first video is from Mandy Shorthorn in Conover, Wisconsin. She woke early on a Saturday morning, May 5th, 2019, to get her dog Archibald ready for the 4-H competition. But then she saw this. What is that? Oh, oh my gosh, it moved. What? What is that? And if you notice, it was hanging on to the weather vane. Ah! Peeking at me. Shut up. Shut up, Boswell. Ah! What? what is that? Ah! Can you believe? It... Ah! What? Could this alien have been stranded and lost? Or is he a captain without his ship? second video is from Eugene Colby, a retired postal worker. Eugene lives just a block away from Mandy and he is taking his trash out and he sees what you're about to see. Same alien in the street walking by. I had just eaten my dinner, uh, I just fed the chickens, I was taking out my garbage and I looked over because I heard some twigs snapping and I looked past my fence and what do I see? It looked like a fish had just grown legs and walked out of the lake. I didn't know what I was looking at. I've been living in this town for 40 some years, delivering mail to the good people of Conover, Wisconsin and I'd never seen nothing like it in my life. My dog was barking up a storm, but you know what, I just stood there, I was paralyzed I was almost hypnotized. I didn't know what to think. I just turned right around and I ran back in my house. I find this video quite amazing. You know, you talk about aliens and how they, you know, they have the, the gray look. Well, this one is clearly one of those extraterrestrials that are more reptilian in nature. But regardless of all of that, I find it fascinating that not just in this case, but in other cases that we have seen and studied that it's almost like they're probing and what do i mean by probing it's a common military tactic that even we as humans do is to go out let a few of the aliens 
for a few people out into reconnaissance missions and to explore and to make sure everything is okay. You might ask, okay for what? Well, okay for the rest of them to come. But what happened over Lake Superior? Let's look at the true case of a fighter jet vanishing along with its crew. The evening of November 23rd, 1953, a storm erupted over Lake Superior. And at that same moment, an unidentified object appeared on the U.S. air defense radar. The craft materialized in restricted airspace close to the Sioux Locks, a vital commerce gateway. An F-89C Scorpion jet out of Truax Air Force Base in Madison, Wisconsin, with a two-man crew scrambled to investigate. First Lieutenant Monclay and Second Lieutenant Wilson would never return. Since that fateful night, this incident had gone on to be one of the weirdest cases on record. Once airborne, the jet struggled to locate the object. With the help of ground controls tracking, they located the UFO 70 miles off of Kiwana Point. This is where things get weird. The two radar blips, one of the unknown craft and the other the Scorpion jet converged, locking into one. Minutes later, the F-89 disappeared from radar. Then the unknown craft vanished as well. No wreckage was ever found. The Air Force's official press release read as follows. The vanished jet was followed by radar until it merged with an object 70 miles off Kiwana Point in Upper Michigan. The Air Force later changed its story adding to the conspiracy. What happened that night? Did Monclay and Wilson meet up with a UFO? We can't say for sure, but perhaps this is a window into what Mandy Shorthorn and Eugene Colby witnessed their fateful day. Want more videos, Echo Dogs? Well, like and subscribe. Until next time, Echo Dogs. And remember, we don't scare easy. We don't scare easy. Yeah.